How is everybody doing tonight? I had the end of my, um, or the last of my sterling sale. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. What I have right here, um, I have a little set. The cats are just going to stay here. The cat earrings. Um, they are not sterling. I thought they were. They are an enamel. And what I think is kind of like alpaca. It came up a very, very light blue, so they probably are plated or a mixture, but I'll just keep those. What I've got here is a beautiful alpaca bangle and with the black and the silver, and I paired it with this cat. He is heavy. He is TC269 Mexico 925. I tested him just a minute ago. He is a nice little piece. Um, I put in kind of an older, very nice um, 925 Italy box chain. I didn't clean it because these are kind of, these are cool pieces, you know, they're not super shiny. But this is sterling and enamel. This is sterling 925 Italy. And this is alpaca. Those right there. I'll put it on for you. It has room to probably be about a seven and a half. Could even be an eight, I think. It's pretty big. Um, it's about two and a half across, maybe a little more. And um, I'm up at 25 on this, and the cat's worth more than that. He's, I'm telling you, he's heavy. He is just darling. Show him up close, and that goes with him. That almost looks like an M, but I just think it's um, just a, like some type of a Mexico design. Um, I think it's cool. Okay, so that's our first piece, and that will be at 25. Look like a, I don't know what that was. That was weird, like a little baby spider. Ew. Anyway, so what I have next, I'm going to go ahead and get these out. I have my case with my rings. Um, these all at the bottom turn it sideways. I'll turn it this way. These at the bottom, all the way up to here. All of those are 925. These up here are not, but they're gorgeous. Um, I've got a couple of them mixed up here. Some of these are. This one is. I'll lay it here. Um, this one is too. I think I had started running out of room. Okay, those are not. Let me check them over real quick. Uh, we'll see if I can hang on to it. Hmm. I hate it when I mix up stuff. I've got too many pieces that look alike. Let me check this real quick. I'm pretty sure this is 925. You gotta like check all the way around. And I think it said so on the side. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Hope everybody's doing good on this Friday. It's the weekend. Yes, that one is 925. That's what I thought. This one is not. Let's see. Both, this is so weird. This is Mark 925 and it's not. And then one of them. I saw one was, 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 was not. One was not. And it was just so weird because they were both exactly the same. They looked exactly the same. I'm going to have to test this real quick. Oh, hell no. Oh, nope, nope, nope. That is not 
nine two five. I can tell just by the scratch. Okay, so I'll move this up. I think this is rhodium plated and it is not sterling either. There's that. Okay, we're good to go, guys. I just had a couple of them kind of turned around. Okay, so how I'm going to do this, let me put this here. I'll set this right here beside me. Um, I do have some ring stands. Let's put that up there. That's my lotion. Get out a ring stand. I'm going to do these one at a time. And I did send out invoices today. So it's the end of the month. So the people that went ahead and purchased Sterling, I went ahead and invoiced them. If they had a bundle to co connect with that, I put it all together so that they wouldn't have to spend two shippings. Um, so hopefully everybody will be happy with that. Okay, I'm going to go from left to right. First ring I have is a, it has some type of, I think it's Arabic writing, I'm not sure. It's very interesting. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is probably nine and three quarters. I can't, let's see. Did I tell you guys my ancestry? Shows me as being Arabic also. Isn't that amazing? Yep. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. This has that there. And then you have the writing. And I have no idea. It looks like, you know, um, this is... It's got a mark in it. That's weird. Okay, it says nine No, that's no. I don't know that language. But somebody etched something inside. Guys, where are they? Oh. It says two five of twenty fourteen. So that is different. It's just etched in there. I don't know who, why. So I'll show you that. Isn't that pretty? So I think what I'm going to do on this one is a nice piece. It's um, not super heavy. It would be a beautiful thumb ring. I never even thought about that. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. And it's almost a nine. Oh, no, 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 I was wrong. It is actually almost a 10. Nine and three quarters, almost a 10. So I will wear that on my thumb for a while. That's cool. So let's put 12 on that. Isn't that cool? And the writing is beautiful. Okay. Next, we have a nice butterfly it's a small one it's very intricate and it's heavy it is a size it is right at a five so some people could wear this as a pinky ring or as a middle finger ring like this kind of fits over here better no it doesn't Hmm. I see that right there. Sorry, the dogs are barking. But it's really pretty. And it says... There is a strange-looking cartouche on this, but it is so tiny. Even with this powerful loop, I can't see what it says. Hmm. But anyway, let's put it on here. It's beautiful. Size five. 
very nice. And so I think, I'm gonna put this white back behind it. Maybe, there we go. Um, yeah, don't forget the thumbs up, guys. You can do it as you come in or go out, which is quite a help for me. Okay, there we go. You can see it much, much better. Okay. So we'll put 15 on that. Go on to the next one. Oh, we have a toe ring, and this is little feet walking. And it says... It says, walk with Jesus. Oh, how cute. Okay, it is very tiny, but it'll get bigger. It is around a size two and a half. And I'll put it on my pinky. Says walk with Jesus. It is so cute. And like I said, I've had quite a few toe rings. Um, that one right there is actually a toe ring. Um, my other ring is right here above. Yeah. It is Gatlinburg um, silver. And I'll never part with it. And this is the little... Feet, the baby's feet because I have two grandsons so one and two okay this one right here we'll just put 10 on it I don't think I've ever bought a toe ring that was sterling for under about 15 just and it's um, it's nice it's not thin you'll know you've got it on or you can use it as a pinky ring okay very good Next is this ring. It is what they call an enhancer. I'm checking to make sure all the stones are in here. If they're not, I just won't sell it. Let's see here. These are channel set in between two pieces. And I do believe these are real stone. Not sure. I don't see any inclusions or anything, so they might not be. I'm trying to see one up close. But I can't do it. Anyway, like I said, it's an enhancer. All the stones are there. It is channel set. It needs a little bath. Um, sure do. These are used along with maybe a solitaire or three stone ring for a wedding set. This is marked on the inside. This is a size five and a half, five and three quarters almost. And to buy one at a jewelry store is expensive. And they are channel set. They're between the two. The stones are actually sitting in between two, like two bars. And they're laying up flat like this between two bars. Very pretty. So let's put 12 on that one. I'll set that there. It's very pretty. Okay, it's dainty and pretty. This one is the one that I'm not sure why it has some, some pool. I, you know, look at that. I don't know. But it comes up as sterling. And I tested it, so I don't, I don't know what that's about. Kind of makes me mad. But it's a beautiful ring. It's got a cold, cold piece of turquoise. The dots. And the um, rope ribbing around the edge of the stone, which is just gorgeous. It's got a three-prong um, 
setting here. Let's put this one over here. I really like this. I bought it for my daughter and she just can't wear it. It's too small for her now. But it's really, really pretty. Let me get a size for you guys. Um, this is a size seven and a half. There we go. So I will put 14 on that. So pretty. Okay, next we have Disney with the Corporation C 925. This is a Mickey and Minnie, probably is what it's supposed to be. I think this is actually, when I looked it up, this right is six and a half. When I looked it up, this was from Disney, Disney Singapore, Disney World in Singapore, and it has CZs. And they're the two Mickeys. And this is just darling, darling, darling. It's got nice silver. You know, it's not thin at all. It is so cute. Look at that. That is just darling. Just darling. Okay, I'll put it here. Isn't that sweet? I hope you can see that. Just too cute. Too, too cute. I'm going to see if I've got something else to put under there besides silver. Um, let's see. Well, I've got silver. <laughs> White. This is kind of washing it out. Every time I need something, it's like not within arm's length. Let's see if I could put it on this one. I almost forgot about this. Wow. I had something hiding. Okay, let's put it here. Over there. Let's put it like this. Let's see if that helps. Does that help any? Okay. Don't know. Okay. dropped it okay next we've got a couple of these we've got one oh my we've got quite a few two three four there's another one very similar five and six Okay, we've got these six. Ain't those pretty? We've got Eternity Bands, this piece here, and then this is like a knot, almost Celtic looking. This one is beautiful. This one is marked on the inside. Nine to five. This one is smaller. This is right at a, let's see, five and a, what is that? Five and a half. Not sure all those stones are there. Yeah, this needs to be soaked. You have to be careful with this, rings like this. But this has a lot of sterling on it, it's nice. Um, like I said, it is smaller. So we'll put 14 on that one. Next is a darling, just tiny little crystals, rhinestones, whatever you want to call them. Um, sterling piece, dainty. It is a size seven and a quarter. This one's marked inside. Somewhere. Right there. This is IB 
This is IBBCN925, IBB, or BB. But this is just too cute. So there's that one. And it's a little lighter, so let's put, I mean, lighter weight. Let's put 12 on that one. That one's darling. Okay, next we have a half eternity band. I'll show it to you here. It's got some really pretty stones. They're just beautiful. Okay. Let's take off my coral ring. I'll show you. There's that. Let's give you a size real quick. This is seven and a half. No, it's seven and a quarter also. This is really pretty. So let's put 14 on this one. Next, we have, oh, this is beautiful. It's another enhancer. This is just gorgeous. I'm trying to remember what this said. This is, it's almost like a little crown. It's just so cute. Size 925 CN FZN or FCH, one of two FCH or K or something, but yeah, this is darling. Look at that, this is really shiny, it's very pretty. This is probably right at about six and three quarters to a seven. Oh, this is six and a half, sorry. Yeah, this is right at six and a half. And I'll set that there for a minute because it's just dark. So we'll put 16 on that one. The next one is a another kind of channel set eternity band. Stones go all the way around. Make sure they're all there. Check it for a mark. These have all been tested. These are rings I've had for quite some time. Yeah, it's marked right there, 925. They've all been tested. This one's gorgeous. This has some beautiful stones in it. Very shiny. Those are pretty. Okay, the size probably seven and a half. Let's see. Nope, just right at seven. Yeah, it's right at seven. It is marked 925. It is a heavier piece. I'll show you the side. Isn't that neat? This would be a beautiful enhancer for a solitaire. I'll put it by that amethyst so you can see it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so let's put 16 on this one just because it's hunky. It's like a hunk of sterling. It's not um, tiny. Set that there. Wow. The next one is very similar. I think these stones are prong set. No, oh, yep, they are. And this one is, it's prong set and kind of channel set. And this one I'm going to have to work to find the, um, this has beautiful crystals, whether they're CZs, but they're shaped like um, a diamond. You know what I mean with the, yeah, very pretty. I wonder if this is the one that's set it on the outside. No. Okay, I'm looking. I'm a looking. That way you can say, well, she tested it plus. And some places won't, like if you try to, hopefully you wouldn't, salvage a ring or whatever you call it. Yeah, there it is, 925. It's on the outside. It's so light. It's There it is. 925. This is probably heavier than this one. These two are big chunkers. Um, 
I know one rule that my jewelry store, the ladies that I go to have, is if it's not marked, they aren't taking it. But they know I test everything, gold and silver, so they'll take it. But the, the lady that owns it, she'll test everything again. But um, they know I've already tested it. I'm not going to embarrass myself by going in there <laughs> with something that's not real. So this one's a little heavier. It is gorgeous. Look at that. This one's probably a seven and a half, too. No, it's not. It's a seven. I'm telling you, my fingers, they change size and get smaller at night. I don't know why. That's right at a seven. And it's gorgeous. So I'm going to put, let's put 20 on this one just because it's heavier. And see how thick it is? Yeah, that one's pretty. Okay, next. This one was down in the spot where they're, the non-925 rings were. I don't know how I saw it. Um, there's so many rings over there. This says, it's marked plus I tested it. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna invent a, a loop that goes inside the ring. This is um, 925. NF925, and this is just darling. It's three rings, it's beautiful. It looks pretty, watch. Those stones are as pretty as my other ring, but that is gorgeous. Yeah, it's really pretty. Let me put it on my other finger here. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? It is size. This one's right at an eight and a half, which is wonderful. Oh, that's why it fits. Eight and a half. It is just gorgeous. It's got a lot of sterling. Look at that for a minute. That's pretty. So let's put 18 on this one. Okay, next we have a vintage ring that I think is just beautiful. I'm not real sure what it's supposed to be. It looks almost like a cornflower or coral or something, but it is just darling. Another darling piece. Um, I don't even know if it's marked. Yeah, it is marked. But I know I've tested it also. It says Oh man. Okay. So this ring is bow sterling. And I forgot about that. Um I'll show it to you real quick. I love bow. I love bow sterling. Um, the pieces I have, I have put up. This is gorgeous. I'll show it to you. You can size it. It's in great shape. Bow sterling is right. I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but it's there. It is right in the area where the two pieces come together. Sorry, I can't get it better. And um, I'm gonna put 25 on it. It is actually right at a six, but I've got it down to a six and a half. I'll show you. That right there is a six and a half. So you can make it real small and make it into a um, pinky ring. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, we'll put 25 on that one. 
Yeah, that almost slipped my mind, guys. Okay, we have a beautiful onyx piece. We might have to do this in two. This is crazy. Okay, we have a beautiful onyx piece. I will have to stop before a minute and 20 seconds because that one yesterday cut off so abruptly. This has 925. It's definitely been tested. It's a beautiful black stone. I'll show you the back of it. 925. It is just a square, very pretty. I think that's interesting. Let me take that off. It's distracting me. So look at that. Oh yeah. I like that. So we'll put the bow sterling over there. It's vintage and beautiful. This one is not marked with anything but 925. This one should be right around. This is a nine. That's right at a nine. So that'll fit here. Very pretty. Substantial piece, not real super heavy. But very, very nice. So I'm going to put 25 on this one also. This is an older style piece, I do believe. Isn't that pretty? Okay, we have a couple of stone rings that are probably not, um, what would you call it? They're like costume, but they're sterling. And I love those types of pieces, but um, I'm going to show you all of them together, and that way we can get through this quicker. So there's five there. Um, and then we've got the clear ones. We'll do those next. Two. I do the colored ones right now, then we'll do the clear stones next. How's that sound? Okay. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Either the silver or the clear. So we've got, I got a bunch. So all the rest of these are silver tone and there are no colors to this. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what we've got, we've got one, two, and you've seen me wear some of these. They're all beautiful. Three, four, Five, six, two big ones, seven, eight, nine. So we'll put this one down. So what I'm going to do, these two are very similar and they're very pretty. They are like a lemon yellow. These are marked. This is China 925, VJ 925 on this one go ahead and put it on beautiful show you that one it's like a lemon drop it's got crystals around the halo it's like a halo ring or it is a halo ring okay this next one is also the same type the yellow stone, a little deeper yellow, a brighter yellow. This is also Mark China, BJ95. Okay. So I'll show you both of these. This one has a little more of a kind of a yellowish green, and this has a bright yellow. This one is the brighter yellow. Okay, I'll give you sizes. This one is a little higher up. That one's a little flatter. Okay, that's the difference between those two. This one is a size seven and three quarters almost. A little over seven and a half. This has little stones on either side of the halo. There's a little stone there and there, just beautiful. Okay, so that's 15. This one here. 
This is really beautiful also, guys. This is a size seven and a half, not quite seven and three quarters. This has the little crystals on the edge of the shank. This is just beautiful. Wait till you up close. Isn't that pretty? So this one is 14, just because it's tiny bit smaller. And you can distinguish a little bit between the two. Okay, we have a almost an emerald cut. That is beautiful. It looks like a citrine to me. It is a size eight. Show it to you real quick. It's got little trillion stones on either side. It's just beautiful. Like I said, that's an eight. That there. That is fancy. That's a nice looking ring. Okay, we've got that one. And we will put, let's put um, 15 on that one. And it is marked on the inside. Let me see the mark real quick so I can let you guys know. I can see it from here. It is 95. Something, 95 something. Duh. So it is like 95. Oh, what's it say over here? Nothing. Okay, so it's just marked 925. And I'll show it to you again. It's just beautiful. It's in great shape. Um, what did we put on that one? 15. Okay. Let's do this beautiful red. Oh, it's gorgeous. Make sure every, yeah, all the stones are on there. This is marked. You can see it with the naked eye. It says G. GR, I think is what that says. But it says 925. Yeah. Hmm. This is really pretty. All the little stones are there. There's two stones there. They're like little leaves. It's gorgeous. It's a bigger ring. Nice sterling. Look. It's just a beautiful ring. Isn't that neat? It is substantial. It is a size nine and a half. It has holes for the stones. Very pretty. Okay. And like I said, it's marked. Nice one. I'll leave that there for a minute. We'll put 17 on that one. This one's gorgeous too. It's heavier. It's got more sterling. That's why it's a little more. This one's darling. Just so pretty. This one is. Hold on, boys and girls. This one is hmm. can't see it. It's hard for me to get a hold of him fumbling. Yeah, I don't see a mark on this one. So, guess what we're going to do? We're going to make sure. I don't remember how long ago I tested this. Yeah, that's silver. I do believe. I do believe. I do believe. Okay. Hmm. What is that for me? Maybe it's not. Okay, it's not showing up. It's just very light blue. Well, 
it's coming. Isn't that weird how some of them take so long? So this is probably silver plate, which is fine. You know, when you get it in with a group of sterling, you know, that's why we test everything. You can see a little bit of the blue, but it's not, it's not a blue enough for me. I don't know, maybe I'm losing it. Can you guys see it at all? Yeah, it's blues. Let's just say it's silver plate. It's still pretty. Did I just do that? Maybe I did. Huh. We'll just say it's silver plate. And um, I'm going to price it at $7. That was crazy. I mean, tripped on my nice leather, but <laughs> now it's yellow. But that's okay. I'd rather have a yellow spot than sell someone something that's not sterling. Okay. So this one we will sell for $7. It's really pretty. Like I said, it did not test as sterling. It tested as silver plate. Which is too bad. This one is definitely marked. It's just 95. I thought this had another mark on it. It's one of my favorites. This has the green stone and the very light blue, which would be um, like a blue topaz, light blue. It's very pretty. It's like a flower. And I love this. This has got a lot of sterling on it, a lot of silver. Very pretty. So I'm going to put 20 on that one. I hope I didn't get that all over my nails. Ooh. Okay, so we'll put 20 on that. Got quite a bit of silver on the side. See it on the side. Now, why did I do that? There we go. Pretty. Okay. Next, we have the little cha cha. And it's marked inside. It is 925 and a very strange cartouche. It's weird. I don't know what that is. It almost looks like a Z or a 3. No, that's, that's a different language. It's Thailand. That's what it is. Hmm. This is so cute. Let me put it here. 925 Thailand with your little dangles. I'm pretty sure those are glass. They sound like it. With the little ribbing all the way around. Let me get you a size on this. <laughs> We're doing pretty good on time. This is right at an eight, maybe eight and a quarter at the most. And we'll move that one. Put that there. Let's do uh, 13 on that one. Just love it. That is so sweet. Okay, we've got a beautiful marcasite and onyx ring. I'm always checking mark marcasites make me nervous. When you're trying to sell something like that, it just every time you pull it back out, you're thinking, oh my god, did some of them fall out? Especially the older pieces. 925 is probably the only mark I'm going to find. I don't remember finding another mark. I do believe that this is from probably Thailand. That's what I'm thinking. This beautiful little flower design in the center is gorgeous. 925 is right that way. This ring is spectacular. Yeah, it looks like um, a mosaic off of the Ma Taj Mahal. This is beautiful, guys. So, look at all this sterling. Isn't that nice? 
This is beautiful. You wouldn't have to wear another ring. You can take this ring off. Yeah, that's all you'd have. My poor pinky is indented. Yep, that's all you need. Okay, we're going to put 30 on this one. Beautiful. And then the next ring is one I've shown before. I paid up for it. It is uh, angel skin coral. And I think it's pink topaz. Is it topaz? Or, um, um, I don't know. I can't remember. Sarah? Oh, gosh, I can't remember now. But you can see the coral, the little dots in it. Angel skin coral. It's a bigger ring. It's got quite a bit of sterling. The underneath is gorgeous. You've got your dots. Your openings for your stones. This is... Um, I'm trying to look for a marking. It's marked, but you know, it's almost rubbed out. I don't want to say the wrong thing, and it's, that's not what it says. Okay, it's like A-H. <laughs> that is so weird. I don't know. It's A-H something. It's up in the area around... Um, where the actual design starts. A H M A H M nine two five A H M A H M silver um, ring. Let's see what it says. A H M. A-H-M, Sterling Ring. Not H-M, it's A-H-M. Okay. Let's see if anything comes up, guys. Oh, yeah, it does. A-H-M, signed A-H-M. There's quite a few. Um... They're on eBay. I'm seeing if one will say what, who it is. HM925 Mexico. Hmm. That's wild. Silver band. Frank AHM. Hmm. Might not be. He actually does... Uh, he's a modernist artist out of Denmark, Frank A.H.M. Now here it says A.H.M. 925. What's that mean? <laughs> oh my, people. People say some nasty things on here. Woo, okay. American silver maker mark, pound sterling silver and coin silver. Um, I'll see real quick. Because I paid a lot for this ring and I don't want to. Hmm. Yeah, it's telling you more or less just to go and look up your. links but you know what that's fine at least we know it is a maker mark and it is a beautiful ring and i will sacrifice it and lose money on it i'm gonna put i'm gonna put 38 dollars on it i paid more than that so and it is a it's a great size it's a size eight and a half 
So it's good for pinkies and all different kind of. Okay, let's get through all this sterling first. And then my next video, I'll, I'll finish it up tonight and I'll do earrings and stuff like that. So um, I've got some beautiful rings that are not sterling. Okay, so there is the angel skin coral and the pink. I think it might be tans. No, I'm not going to keep guessing. <laughs> I'll guess myself right out of my hat. I think that's what they said. Okay, there's a nice little hunk. I do have what I think is Black Hills Gold right there. This actually has a set of earrings. So I think I'll just put them over with the earrings. Here's a bow. There are two bows, as a matter of fact. I wonder which one's bigger. I'll keep one of them. There's that one. There's that one. Oh, that's so weird. There's that one. About the same size, look. I cannot believe I got two of the exact same ring. They didn't come together like that. I got them from separates. Yeah, isn't that cool? I think I got one from the jeweler and one from Shop Goodwill. Isn't that weird? Okay, we'll look at them here in just a minute. Okay, we've got this one. We've got this set. Got that weird quality one and these four. Okay, so let's get through these real quick. All the rest of the rings that are on here are not 925. I'll set that out of the way. Okay, so these two beautiful little bows. This is Thailand 925. Let's see what this one says. This one's a little bent. I'll probably keep this one. This is NF925. Thailand. So they are twins. So I'll keep this one just because it's um, a little bent back there. This one's in perfect shape. It is darling. It is so pretty. Um, seven and a quarter. And it is just darling, darling, darling. Look at that. Little probably C's. They're pretty enough to be CZs, I would think. So we'll put that there. And we'll put, let's put, um, let's put 14 on that one. This one is just different. I think I'll just probably put it, put it up. This one is, um, 925NF. I mean, unless somebody wants it, 925NF. I think that's all it says. Yeah. Okay, this one's different. This one was probably Vermeer, but it has like a little gold wash that's shiny. It's just different. Then that's the back. Isn't that neat? I'll put that bow over there. This one is a smaller size. It is right at a six and three quarters. And that is. Isn't that different? So I'll put 12 on this one. It's a really, it's kind of cool. I have never seen one like that. Okay, next we have what I think is the Black Hills Gold. You have one, two, th four leaves in the grapes. Um, that other piece I have is GS, I think it is. This says Stir, so I know it's older. It's probably one of the first of the... Um, oh, gosh. 1981, guys. Goodness gracious, that was a long time ago for me, for everybody. <laughs> wow. We'll put it right here. This is pretty. 
1981. And whatever this was made out of, it's almost all silver or all sterling. I don't know if it had a lot of the gold. I have a pendant that has, um, well, I'm not going to look at it, but it has a lot of the gold and the kind of rose gold, but this is, this has that satin finish on it. This is definitely old. 1981, that's what, 40 years. This is a 40 year old vintage ring. Isn't that neat? So I'm up at 25 on this one if anyone's interested. I did. I know I got the size on here. I know I did. I thought I did. It's seven and a quarter. Okay. I love that. Okay, we've got a couple of these. We've got a little cluster ring here. Kind of like a halo, but more clustery. I said, ooh, that sounded funny. Clustery. Okay, we've got this one that has some stones in it. This one has stones in it. Okay, we'll go over these. Okay, so what you've got is these three. This has a solitaire with some baguettes on each side. This is an emerald cut with some little stones around the um, shank of the ring. Very pretty, very um, modern for right now. That even has stones right there. That's pretty. This one has the two baguettes. Any more stones? No. This one right here, these are beautiful these are nice this one is darling it's like a um it's almost like a halo ring but it's a cluster um i had a bunch of clusters and i was constantly knocking out stones so to get a cluster ring like this is better because it's sterling and you don't have to worry you just buy another ring Okay, this one is just beautiful. It is marked on the inside. This one is Thailand 95. And it's got a U with a line through it. That's different. That's the cartouche. A U and a line through the center of it. Okay. This is seven and a half. Let me take my bow off. This is pretty. Yeah, this just needs a nice little wash. Now that's beautiful. Okay. And I'm going to put 16 on it. It's really in good shape. You couldn't beat that. Cannot beat that. Let's see, let's put this here. There we go. You can kind of see it a little bit. Okay. Next, you have the solitaire. This is beautiful. It's like a, a round cut. Bag with baguettes on either side. It's really pretty. Um, if these are real, these would be worth a bunch of money. This says 925 RS, I think that's RS3, RSE, sorry. And that's it. I don't think it says anything else. Mm -mm. So I'll put that one on. This is like an engagement ring. That's about two carats, no, a carat and a three quarters. Not quite two carats. But it's gorgeous. It might be too, depending. Very, very pretty. Set that to the side. I'm going to put a uh, 20 on that one. That's gorgeous. These are the types of rings you need when you go on vacation. You wear that as your wedding ring and wear one of those enhancers. Yeah, you'd be good to go in case something happened. Okay, the next one. Is also beautiful. It's got an emerald cut. I haven't even cleaned these as far as um, soaking them. 
So I've got the little crystals there that stop so that it doesn't irritate you. There's beauty. It's a beauty. We're in a minute of uh, an hour and one minute. Or no, we're right at an hour. This is a six and a half. I'll put that over here. It's so pretty. Which one is it? That one? No, there's one that I think would look really good with this. I'm not sure if it's this one or not. Yeah, look how that looks. That's pretty cool. Let me see. Put it on. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That looks neat. Okay. So, we will put this here. And let's put 18 on that one. Okay, next we have a beautiful... It is beautiful. It's a belt with little crystal CZs. I do believe they're CZs. Let me look and see. That says, um, just says 925. Um, these are very popular at one time. Yep, yeah, that's all it says. S925 is what, exactly what it says. This has got the open work on the back. That's what makes those crystals so pretty. Um, yeah, there's none missing that I can see. And you'd be able to tell. There'd be a hole. This is gorgeous. Okay. I'll do a measurement on this real quick. We have this at an 8 and a quarter. Eight and one quarter. Yeah, I really like this. This one is 20. It's got a very thick band on it. Very lovely. No wear at all on it. Just looks great. So that one's 20. I don't think I did this one yet. They're all blending together, guys. Okay, this one is... I do believe this is an older piece. This one's not marked. Don't think. It's kind of uh, tarnished, it might be, and I just can't see it. Yeah, there it is. Um, it is marked inside the center part, of course, right where you can't see it. It is marked 9 N. Um, 95, that's all I can see. But it's really pretty. It needs shined up. I leave it like it is, just in case somebody likes it that way. This would be super, super shiny. It's a, looks like a piece of, um, Twisted bread. It's beautiful. It's quite a bit of silver in it. It's very nice. I said it's an older piece, so it does have a tiny bit of wear. But that's a nice big piece. Isn't that pretty? It is right at eight and a quarter. Pretty. Okay, so we'll put, let's see, let's put 15 on this one because it doesn't have any, um, stones or anything. Now these are kind of bands. Oh, that's pretty. I'll show you that together. This is a huge band. Um, let's do this one. Let's do this one. And that one. Oh, we've got a toe ring. There's that one. And a clotta. So, the first one I'm going to show you is all sterling. It's a double heart right there. And this is, of course, the um, infinity. I almost couldn't say it. That's the back of those. 
and I'll do sizing. This is the Clotta. It's really pretty. It's got stones on either side here. Not sure what they are, but they look like rhinestones. They really look pretty, or very shiny CZs. Um, this one is marked. It's marked five. It's a size five. <laughs> it's a size five, it is. And then 925C. So I don't know if that's Canada or what it is, but it's so cute. It's got stones there. Isn't that pretty? I think it's got three at the top. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's like a crown. So we've got size five. Let's put 12 on that one. Can't really see it. There we go. Pretty. Put 12 on that one. These two are just, this is a, a kind of a nice little hunk of sterling. Um, it's not very big, but I mean, it's pretty. This one is an older piece, I do believe. Um, I've had some that were marked on the outside, even. Some of the older pieces. I'm not seeing anything on this one. Okay, on this double heart, I'll just do 10 on it, just because it's not marked. I had tested it. Isn't that pretty? So we'll do 10 on the double hearts. And on the infinity, which has become, you know, just a beautiful symbol of all different kinds of things. And it's marked 925. I thought maybe... Uh-oh, I dropped it, guys. I thought maybe it was an Avon piece, but I am just not sure. There it is. Yeah, that was my first thought, was that it had to be Avon, but let's see what it says real quick. 925, it doesn't say anything. Hmm. It's probably an older piece. It's... It looks like it's hammered from the inside, so. But there's that, and I do believe it's very vintage. Um, let's put 12 on that one. It's really cute. Very nice. Next, we have this huge, probably a man's wedding ring, or if someone has a bigger thumb knuckle, this one. Do we measure this? Let's give a measure to this again. This one is right at eight and a quarter. Okay, and I'll put that over here. Next, this big guy is marked, and it says um, nine two. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Nine two nine two five over eighteen k gold plate FC. So, this is sterling with gold plate. It's a big piece. I think it's a size 11 and a half. Yeah, it's 11 and a half. And I'm going to put 25 on it. It's a lot of gold plate. Okay. It's not a real thick band, but it's nice. It's heavier. Yeah, it's not super thin. So I'll set that there. And these are both kind of a filigree. Both of these. Let me see the sizes on these. This is um a nice piece. A lot of sterling on it. Lots of sterling. This is right at eight and a half. It is. Mark 925. A-H, this is another one of them, I think. A-N something. N N V. This might be an Avon ring. 
Okay, this is beautiful. I'll show you the sides here. Um, yeah, that's right at eight and a half. That's very nice. I'll set that there. And let's put, oh, sorry. Let's put 15 on that one. This one's a bit thinner as far as the filigree goes and the, you know, it doesn't have quite as much um, mass to it. Um, I don't know where they mark it. I'm sure they find a spot, but let me look through here real quick. We're just about done with this episode. Hmm. I don't see it marked. It is definitely sterling. But anyway, sorry about that. I got overwhelmed. Okay, this is eight. Right a size eight. It's really pretty. I'll show it to you. Isn't that pretty? So, since it's not marked, we'll do 12. And you can see the difference in the silver content of these two. And like I said, I don't, I don't like um, measuring because I'm not sewing them for scrap. <laughs> so, I get kind of flustered. This is a size, a huge size of two and a half. No, this is a three. This is a toe ring or a baby finger ring. And it's a beautiful little butterfly. It's a flutter by. It's a butterfly. It's got a little bit of silver tone. I mean, it's silver tone. It's got a little bit of sterling. Uh, we'll put it sideways like that. Isn't that cute? very tiny. You wouldn't be able to make it very big. That would have to go on a small toe. So let's put mm, let's put 12 on it. Let's put 12 on it. What else do we have? You guys, I think we're done. Hmm. Okay, so later on or tomorrow morning I have some earrings. I have some rings that are not sterling. And we'll finish up with that. How's that sound? These are the ones that aren't sterling, but they're beautiful. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to sign off here. Um, I actually have found out a lot as far as YouTube goes. I think when you go into YouTube studio and go to your comments, you have an area that up at the very top that says, um, help for review. Yeah, the comments. <laughs> so I had a whole bunch that were held for review and I don't know if it's from putting the timestamp in first before you say anything, because those people will come on and, and do that a uh, scam or whatever it is where they're trying to get you to go to their website or some some pornographic site and it starts out with numbers so i don't know if that's the problem i don't know but there was a bunch of you girls that i had to go back through and okay your comments i mean i didn't see them at all some of them were in the notifications and weren't in the comments I actually got a couple of comments that weren't in the notifications, but the ones that were held for review were there in that area to where I couldn't see them at all. So it was, you know, I could see them in the notifications, but that was it. So I think I got everybody taken care of. Um, this is something I didn't show you guys and I forgot. I really did. Let me do this real quick. I think that this one is costume. I have, hi baby. Yeah. 
I have a um, tiger's eye necklace. It is approximately 15 and a half inches with a big hunk of sterling wrapped around it. Sterling necklace. And this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And it is 45. I forgot to show it to you guys. And then I have this little, yeah. And then we have this little guy here. He is a little dolphin. Um, he just a pendant. And he's a pagoda, piercing pagoda pendant. And he is $5. So we went from high to low. <laughs> but yeah, that's the last, let's see. Yeah, bring him here for a minute, hon. So that's kind of the last of the, um, um, we've got a, this is not sterling. We've got a diaper issue or something on it. Oh, okay. Well, I'll do one later. Okay. The baby's awake, but he's getting a little change right now. And when I do my next sterling video, whether it's later tonight or tomorrow, I will um, make sure he gets to help. All right? All right, you guys have a good evening, and uh, like I said, I think I got everything taken care of with the comments. So, comment below, time, stamp, and price. If you're new to the channel and just are now subscribing and want to purchase, just email me your PayPal information and your shipping address, and we'll be great. Thank you so much, guys.